Welcome back guys, this is going to be another video from Telstar Technology showing you how to set up a voicemail box on your Nortel MICS CICS uh, phone system. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into the voicemail itself which is feature 983. Default password is going to be 102-0000, hit OK. You should see mailbox auto attendant and other. Okay. So what you want to do, uh, best piece of advice I can give you building mailboxes, always, always, always make the mailbox match the extension number. If your mailbox or extension number is 225, your mailbox needs to be 225. And the reason why you want to do that is there's no way really to tell in here without going through each individual mailbox individually to tell what mailbox is tied to what phone. So on the call pilots later on down the road, they brought a web interface into it that allows you to go in there and see all the mailboxes. It's not really a huge necessity on a call pilot, but on these flash and NAM uh, voicemail systems, you definitely want to make the mailbox match the extension number. So let's move on. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the mailbox button. Now you get add, delete, or change. So at this point you can delete a mailbox, add a mailbox, or just change something about a particular mailbox. In this case, we're gonna add one. I'm gonna add mailbox. Um, let's just add a mailbox for Carol, 229. Oh, mailbox already exists. Um, so let's go ahead and add one for Jeremy, 232. Oh, mailbox exists, all right, well, we're kind of grasping the straws here. So let's try 250. Okay, there we go. So 250 is available. As you can tell, if a mailbox already exists, it will not let you build one. That's a good thing. We want to make it tied to extension 250. Service class, just always make it one. No sense in changing it. When it comes to the name, put the last name in first, then the first initial. Okay, so let's just do Smith. Pound, pound, we'll put a comma in there and then just put their first initial. Okay, that's really all you need to do. Hit OK. Do we want this mailbox to be part of the directory? I always typically put it in there. Do we want message waiting when the voice mailbox takes a message? Absolutely. Okay, that's as far as you need to go. You don't have to do anything else. Okay, now we can hit our release button and now that voice mailbox is set up. Now, Note to self here, you have to go in and initialize the mailbox in order to make it work. Okay, It will not work until it's initialized. So what you're going to want to do to initialize that mailbox, you're going to want to hit your open mailbox button. If you don't have one, it's feature 981. It's going to take you right into your voice mailbox. Enter four zeros as the password. It's going to make you change it. Make it something simple, you know, unless you're hiding super important documents and things in here. Just make it something simple so you won't forget it. Accept the password. Administrative voicemail. Okay. So as you can tell, um, it's going to make you, this mailbox was already set up, but what it's going to do is it's going to make you record your name. It's going to make you record your name for the company directory. Once you do that, your mailbox is set up and ready to go. You can go in there and put a greeting in it if you would like. Um, if this video was helpful to you guys, uh, please like and subscribe the video. Slap that like button. Um, slap that subscribe button so that uh, we can keep making these videos for you guys. It, it really helps us out a ton. And uh, uh, stay tuned for some more videos from Telstar Technologies on the Nortel, CICS, and MICS phone systems.